This is going to be your 100% dark, shiny Pokemon hunting locations in the Teal Mask DLC for Scarlet and Violet. If you're looking for any Pokemon, make sure to check out the timestamps that are down below. So the recipe for the dark sandwich is going to be one smoked filet, one salty herba, and one sweet herba. Make sure that you see sparkling power dark level three and encounter power dark level three. If you don't have any herba mystical, feel free to use a level two encounter power sandwich. In order to do the zoom in trick by touching the double home button make sure to go to your home menu go to settings go all the way down to system and make sure that you have the zoom turned on all right let's get hunting if you're a pokemon violet player you're in luck because there is actually a spot just for you and it's actually a town spawn so you can just walk back in and walk back out it's going to be right by the kitakami hall and you have to exit all the way to the top right over here and just make sure you have your dark sandwich active when doing this and the zoom in feature that we said at the beginning of the video so this is more peko or more pico how do you pronounce that i'm not sure we're gonna go with more peko for the video but let me know what you think and this is what it's shiny looks like and this pokemon's gonna spawn all over the place here now for the shiny what you're gonna be looking for is that little bit of white on it that's gonna distinguish it from the yellow and simply to get the bunch of them to respawn all you have to do is just walk back here right until it says kitakami hall and then walk right back out once it says oni mountain all the spawns will start to come in and all you gotta do is just zoom in and look for the white and the moment you see your shiny you're good just run up to it and catch it and that's pretty much how you hunt for this pokemon over here so good luck violet players and if you're nice trade it to some scarlet players now if you want to hunt crawdut all you have to do is head over to the fallen horn and then fall down into the water here and this is pretty much where you're going to be hunting it something really beneficial about hunting crawdut in this area is that it is going to be a water dark type of course this is the dark video but its pre-evolution is only water typing so to separate it out from being locked into all the water sandwiches this this is where it's going to spawn. They don't spawn in crazy amounts. Bombardier will probably be the Pokemon you get more than anything uh, and it'll probably show up shiny, but products do spawn in the water. Um, and what you want to look for is the more desaturated version. So bring a Pokemon that can go in the water and swim. That way you can knock out any products that seem to be too under if you aren't sure of the color. The only thing you have to do is just go around the entire area despawning and respawning in new ones until you see the shiny. That's overall just the strategy. And just avoid these Bombardiers at all costs. But yeah, you can see all the crawdons here. So good luck hunting them. Um, and definitely grab one with the dark sandwich because once you have water on, it's going to start to become very impossible. The next Pokemon we're going to be hunting is going to be Mariena. And Mariena is going to be really easy with the dark sandwich because it's going to be located in this entire area of the Wistful Field. So you just have to go up and down. And like you can see all of them over here. And uh, just as I was about to record the location, like I had one spot in front of me. I was like, okay, there you go. There's the, uh, the golden dog. Like how cool. Who is that thing? Let's just go up to it and catch it. So yes, pretty much the technique to do this is just run, uh, not really run, but just, you know, go fast enough where different ones will spawn. And if you have a bunch of them in front of your face and you have a good idea and can see a couple, you could just do an entire picnic reset in order to get a group of them to disappear and reappear. So that's what you're going to have to do for Mighty Yenna. And now that you saw this, make sure to subscribe so you can actually have shiny luck when you're hunting. Seriously, it works. If you're looking for Poochyena, the pre-evolution of Mariena, well, this is the spot for you. And it's going to be basically one of those quick town reset methods almost where we just touch something like this. We step right out and you get a whole bunch of other ones spawning right in front of you. And this is going to be located, as you can see, at the Loyalty Plaza. And what you want to do is just align yourself where you're facing down towards the Apple Hills in front of you, just like this. And you can spot in front of you all these lovely uh, Poochyenas. And all you have to really do to find a shiny is look for gold that's it it's that simple uh you don't even need to use the zoom in technique to really look for this one just back up pop back in and you should be able to go ahead and get a shiny to spawn pretty easily the next pokemon that we're going to be hunting is going to be Neasel. now in order to get to this cave you're just going to have to go west from the fallen horn and it's pretty much the spot where you fight fesendipity so from oni mountain you can walk into the chilling waterhead which actually has a couple of entrances not just this way but this cave is kind of big but but it's not like really big, if that makes sense. They just added a bunch of narrow entrances. You're going to bump into Sneasels here. Uh, this is not the best location in the game because you could go to Paldea and you could have way better locations. I've covered that in my video and we've also caught them in Paldea. Kitakami is not the spot to catch these. If you're going to do a Sneasel kind of hunt here in Kitakami, you're probably going to want to do the outbreaks here. But besides that, this is where they are. You see where they spawn and all you have to do is pretty much just run far away from them to despawn them out and then head back up 
and then you'll get new spawns. That's pretty much it. And it's shiny won't be hard to miss because it is pink or Sneasel. Good luck hunting, but probably don't do this hunt here. Go to Paldea, seriously. The next Pokemon that we're going to be going for is going to be Hound Hour. And uh, this one's going to be pretty simple because it's exactly the same spot as the fire one at the Infernal Pass. Once you arrive here, you're just going to see a bunch of them roaming around this entire area. So to focus on these, it's going to be pretty simple. Just find a spot where you can overview a bunch of them. And then once you can see a whole group of them, you can either picnic reset or you have the option of walking up and down this entire area, probably right up to there until you can despawn them out and then just move about. That's pretty much it. And here is a clip of me hitting the shiny hound door here in the fire video. So there it is. And that's what it's going to look like. Just a blue color. It won't be really hard to see. So good luck getting your shiny hound hour and hound doom. The Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is going to be at the Fellhorn Gorge. And that is going to be located right at this location at the Fallen Horn. And this one's really simple. Uh, these birds are going to exist everywhere here. Bombardiers are everywhere. And the key feature that you're going to look for is basically just no colored beaks and no colored uh, little legs on it. That's it. So they're going to spawn in massive groups, as you can see over here. We also have a Crawdunt bot here. And yeah, pretty much you can go up on the sides of the hills everywhere pretty much here has Bombardiers. Even when you climb up, you should be easily able to capture one. Okay, I see one on this hill. All right, let's move on to the next Pokemon. If you head over to the Mossel Confluence, you're going to find a bunch of Nuzleaf spawning here. Now, sometimes you'll get a Nuzleaf spawning with a bunch of dots around, but this is going to be a really good place to get this, especially with the Dark Sandwich, because when you have grass on, you're going to get a lot of other chaotic grass Pokemon spawning. So this is a great way to just isolate them out from the other grass Pokemon. Uh, make your lives a lot easier. And this is what the shiny looks like on screen over here. As you can see, the, <laughs> it's going to be very obvious to tell a shiny from a non-shiny. And the best strategy here is either just walk past all of them to get a bunch to spawn as you're moving around. Or once you have a bunch of them that are in your sight, you can simply just open up your picnic, close your picnic, and that'll refresh these spawns pretty quickly. I actually really want one because this is a returning Pokemon. And yep, there's a little family and the Nuzleaf. So you can just run anywhere around here. Don't go too fast since there's solo spawns. But you should be able to easily grab yourself a Nuzleaf here after spending a little bit of time here. So good luck hunting your Nuzleaf and then eventually evolving it into gift tree. If you come over to the Timeless Woods, this is going to be a dual hunt pretty much with Impy Dimps and Pontiards and the Bisharp family. This is going to be a really great spot to hunt these two families. So dual hunting is going to be easy because all you have to do is spot a blue Pokemon because all the shinies uh, here are going to be blue for the Pontiards and for the Impy Dimp line. So pretty much just circle around. Don't go too fast because there's single spawns and you should be able to eventually get one. So good luck getting your Pawniards, your Bisharps, that eventually will evolve into King Gambits, and your Impy Dimp line that'll go into Morgrim. Well, oh, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's a shoddy. So if you want to hunt down a Vullaby, you're going to have to come over to this location over here by the Fallen Horn. This entire area of the Fallen Horn is going to have Vullabies, but they are scattered amongst just the grass areas. And Bombardiers are going to be very annoying, blocking the spawn rate of these things to be properly in their amount. But if you want to look for them, it has to be in grassy areas. If you go outside of grassy areas, then you will get other different types of spawns. And this is what the shiny looks like. Just so you know, it's on screen over here. And this is what Mandibuzz looks like when you evolve it. So keep that in mind. Grassy patches is pretty much all you have to do. They're also on top of these little peak areas. If there's little grass, like here's another one over there. Exactly where you fly to the area, that's where they are as well. And even around over here, this area coming out. So I would suggest trying to go for a mass outbreak if you can do it. So just do a reset by going back a minute or going forward a day. If you don't like the cheating aspect of moving days, just change your time by like a minute. Oh, and that's a shiny bombardier. Because they, these things just keep showing up. See how annoying that is? All right. Anyway, good luck. Now that you caught all the dark Pokemon in the teal mask, you should check out this video over here.